Hello and welcome to the Gary Stewart Show presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Greg Royce, joined by Stevenson head men's basketball coach Gary Stewart. Coach, uh, you were in action twice last week. I uh, started off Wednesday night, uh, Lebanon Valley. Um, you were up, you know, midway through the second half, and then um, you know, very tight back and forth game. And um, you know, Lebanon Valley just able to make a couple plays right there at the end. Uh, kind of take us through that game a little bit. Well, I thought that uh, we executed well. Um, um, in relationship to what we were trying to do, uh, they've got two really, really good players, and uh, Andy Orr on the interior. Yeah. Uh, we held him to eight shots, yeah. um, and then uh, Sam Light um, is a guy that uh, um, warrants special attention, and we we uh, forced him into a seven of sixteen um, night. So when you do that against those two guys, you got to feel pretty good yeah. um, about where you're going to be. Uh, but um, conversely, Ricky Buck had a good one against us, and and uh, we needed to uh, hold him to his average, and yeah. he, um, he, I think he scored 24 points, and, yeah. and uh, that was to our detriment. Yeah, sometimes that's the problem. Sometimes you shut down the guys you want to shut down, and somebody, the third guy will kind of step up and uh, you know, kind of hurt you a little bit. But overall, you were kind of pleased with how you executed, just you know, need to make a couple more shots. Yeah, our execution down the stretch wasn't as, as good as we'd like, but, um, but it wasn't for lack of effort. I thought our, our guys really fought hard and, and uh, competed well. Yeah. Then Saturday, you're home. I'd say the same thing. I thought you guys played hard. I thought they played well in stretches. Um, you know, just ultimately, you know, a couple of big runs at the start of each half by, uh, you know, kind of killed you. Yeah, we got off to a really bad start, and, and the game was really choppy in the first half. There wasn't uh, very much uh, continuity for either yeah, team. Right. Um, and we were very fortunate to go in down seven. Mm -hmm. um, we had uh, great contribution from some guys off our bench. And and uh, and then defensively, uh, after the bad start, uh, we, d we dug in a little bit defensively and, and forced a 29-point uh, first half. Um, unfortunately, we weren't able to sustain that in the second half. Uh, we got going a little bit offensively, uh, scored 40 points, but but we needed the same type of defensive effort, and it wasn't there. Yeah, yeah, I think they scored like 15 points the first five or six minutes, so you held them really to 14 over the last, you know, 14 or 15 minutes, so a good defensive effort there. And like I said, you got down to four, went in down seven, so and certainly the effort was there. Like you said, some guys off the bench stepped up and gave you some minutes and gave some energy. Yeah, the one thing that's uh, plaguing us is is uh, the consistency, and the consistency I mean in all areas, yeah. uh, uh, defensively. Um, we gave up some straight line drives that uh, uh, we've been really working on, trying to get our, our our help defense there and guard the ball a little bit better. And, and we did that for stretches of the game, but we were hurt down the stretch with with uh, penetration. Um, we did a good job of getting out to their shooters and running them off the three point line. Then we lost track of shooters for a period there, and they hit consecutive three-point shots and I think in a five-minute stretch they hit three um, and, and so those things are, are, are really hurting us when uh, w when we have a, um, a lull or we have a uh, a situation where we're not as consistent, whether it be offensively or defensively, teams are taking advantage of it. Yeah. So this week you go back, um, you know, two more Mac Commonwealth games, both on the road. I mean, you're at Messiah Wednesday night and at Widener Saturday. Um, you know, obviously at this point you're kind of taking one game at a time. You know, obviously, you know, still – I'm not sure still mathematically alive or not for Matt Commonwealth's playoffs, but obviously you're know, taking one game at a time starting Wednesday night. Well, we've got Messiah Wednesday. They're playing very, very well. Uh, but we've got good players, and, yeah. and yeah, we have to stay positive. Uh, it, another opportunity for us Wednesday to to uh, play a very, very good team, um, and uh, it'll take our full concentration. But we're excited about it. Yeah, and then obviously Saturday you go wide and get a game. You know, very close. You know, like every game in the co in the conference, it's a very close game here at home. You know, um, you know they beat you in overtime. Um, we're looking for out of that game the same thing. Well, it kind of shows you where the league is. Uh, the first time we played Widener, um, as you mentioned, they beat us in overtime. Um, and then they've struggled. Yeah. And, and then you look uh, look Saturday in the box score, um, and they um, beat Lycoming. Mm -hmm. um, so anybody can beat anybody in, yeah. in our league, and, and th that's what makes it fun fun to watch, I think fun to plan, and certainly fun to coach. Yeah, absolutely. All right, Coach, we'll wish you the best of luck on the road this week, and I'll talk to you next week. Thank you, Greg. All right, for Gary Stewart, I'm Greg Royce. This has been the Gary Stewart Show.